hey guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to actually teach you how to mirror your phone on the pc i'm going to teach you how to mirror your phone on the pc so it's very exciting it's very simple you don't need to download any other software you don't need to download any software to your pc it's just uh, a connection from your phone to your pc so what you're going to need is just a, a phone um, in this case, I'm using the iPhone 7, so you're going to need a phone and a USB cord. What you want to do when you start is to actually just uh, put up your phone, go to your App Store. Once you get to your App Store, you search for Miro to Mac or Windows PC. Once you find Miro to Mac or Windows PC, you just hit the button to uh, start downloading. Uh, the download process will just start. There are some few things you need to understand if you do not have your uh, usb cable connected this might not work you don't need a wi-fi you don't need to connect your pc to your phone via a wi-fi it's just a simple process and you don't need to download any other software onto your laptop now once the mirror to mac or windows uh has been downloaded to your iphone you'll simply click on the open button once you click on the open button uh, it takes you to the software itself now once you get here it actually is trying to connect you to the chrome browser this is where it gets more exciting now pay attention to this here is asking us to allow for notification it says mirror mac pc would like to send you notifications you have to allow this if you don't allow this the process would not be complete and if you notice again below that instruction it's i uh, it gave us some few numbers that's five five eight four two eight seven eight three now i'm going to open my chrome i'm going to open my chrome uh, browser and i'll go straight to because the instruction says that you should open the chrome browser and then hit the https slash slash start dot air beam dot tv i'm going to leave that a link at this uh, at the comment below so that you could actually click it one time and just get that so once you click in this it takes you straight to the website once you get into the website the number automatically appears in the code area i'm going to remove everything i'm going to type in the code myself from beginning so i'm going to type in five five eight four two eight seven eight three Once you type in that, you hit the button connect, and then it brings you to this green page where some further instructions uh, continue. It says that you're connected, press the screen record icon to start mirroring. Now on your phone that you will see the record icon on your phone. So once you see the record icon on your phone, it's simple, you are almost done. All you now need to do from there is press that button. Once you press that button, immediately you press that button, your phone appears on your PC. Now, the phone appears on your PC. You can see mine is appearing on the PC. All you do is you flip through and you continue doing what you want to do. This is best for those that want to record stuff that they're doing on their phone, those that want to show what they actually, the activities that they're carrying out on their phone. I'm going to do some other few installations on my phone. So there are a few, there are a few other lessons uh, there are a few other videos i'm going to upload to show how you can install some few free apps that will help you rank your youtube channels up rank your uh settings and all that so we'll continue here now there is another instruction once you are about to uh once you're once you're about to log out from that if you go straight to your mirror to mac and pc from your mobile phone there's instruction that says that once you get here everything on your screen including notifications will be recorded so because you are recording the screen if you are receiving a call or you're going to get anything that comes into your phone either text messages or emails or pop-ups or notifications definitely this is going to record it and it wouldn't look good so what you're going to do once you get here or uh, before you start rather is for you to actually before you start you have to enable do not disturb to prevent unexpected notifications let me take it through again you see i have disconnected once you disconnect I've disconnected so once you disconnect what happens again is that the code automatically appears in the browser thinking that you're going to reconnect so what i'm going to do is simple i won't retype this time i'm just simply going to look at the code and then confirm that the code is the same one that reappears on my phone then i hit the connect button and the same process starts all over again 
you just hit the button and then automatically boom it connects and once you connect this is the first screen you see you wipe away from it and you can now use your phone and record it from your skin so let me give an example i'm going to go straight to youtube from youtube i'm going to get onto my channel i'll scroll around you know this is basic knowledge i'll scroll around go through it you know so that you see that i'm actually operating my phone and you guys are seeing it on the screen so guys thanks for watching if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button to get notifications when we release new videos but if you're not new on this channel thank you for watching at the same time